there seems to still be, which like blows my mind, this goal of like, someday we'll have zero disability. You can't eradicate disability. Osteogenesis imperfecta is a genetic disability that comes from birth. It makes their bones either light or very brittle. Before I was born, I broke about 50 bones in utero, but the doctors didn't know that I had brittle bones disease. So by the time I was born, they had all healed kind of differently. And so my arms and legs are bent. I really wanted to play the cello at the beginning, and luckily I had a teacher that was willing to help me. We tried like even the small ones, but little three-year-olds play. Um, that didn't work either, because my arms are too short. So we came up with this idea that I could play up and down, like kind of in the way that a cello player plays. We had to adapt the bow hold, so I hold it like a bass player instead of a cello player. I don't think I really like thought about my disability in a negative way, really. As a kid, it was just like an exciting challenge. Well, it kind of sounds like an orchestra rather than one violin player. I like to think that it's something that you can listen to and kind of close your eyes and go on this journey. That's coming from a place of pity when you call someone inspirational because secretly you feel like, I don't know how I could do it, but yet they are doing it. A lot of times people ask like, how did I overcome my disability? I'm never going to overcome my disability because my disability is part of who I am. I think we have such an ingrained belief that able-bodied living is better than living in a body that is different, most people can't wrap their minds around it. The idea of genetic testing and taking babies out preterm, it's sort of saying you obviously don't on some level think of my life as valuable. There seems to still be, which like blows my mind, this goal of like someday we'll have zero disability. What are you gonna do, start like euthanizing older people? Like you can't eradicate disability. I mean, you just can't. And, and it's not right to try. The way your body is, is the way you experience the world and it like makes a lot of the decisions for you. Like your life unfolds in a very certain way, a very particular way because of the body you're born with. And I don't see my disability as a negative part of my life. Because if I didn't have a disability, I know for sure that I wouldn't be talking to you right now. Pushing up, pushing up, through the dirt just like a sea, but you're never quite a flower. You feel more just like a weed.